Hello everyone, welcome to Gantai Handmade Creations and another tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to crochet edging for your blankets or scarves. So as always, I don't like to dawdle, so let's get started. So I have my category 3 yarn here. You might want to try with a little thinner yarn. Um, it wouldn't help to do that. And I'm using a 4 millimeter hook. We're going to start off with our normal slip knot. <clears throat> and we're going to chain a number. We're going to chain up an even number of stitches. So I'm going to chain 30. For my new subscribers, my new crocheters, our beginners, I'm going to show you how to start a chain. So you want to grab your hook, make your slip knot, yarn over and pull through that first loop there. Yarn over again and pull through and make sure that you are twisting your hook when you pull through. So when you yarn over, twist that hook, pull it through that loop and continue going. That is how you make a starting chain. So I'm going to continue making these chains and when I come back I will have 30 chains. Okay, so I have my 30 chains here and I'm going to add an additional two chains and I'm going to double crochet in the fifth chain from the hook so we're going to skip four one two three four and we're going to go into that fifth chain with a double crochet and for my beginners I'm going to do this again for you slowly you will yarn over go into your next stitch pull up a loop Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Let's do that again. Yarn over, go into your stitch, yarn over, pull up your loop. Don't forget to twist your hook. Yarn over again, twisting that hook, pull through two of those loops. Yarn over by grabbing your hook and twisting and pulling through two and that's your double crochet so you continue making these all the way across and when you get to the end I'll be back okay so now we have 29 double crochets going all the way across when you get to the end of your row, chain two. Now normally it is a chain three for a double crochet, but if you've been my subscriber for a while, you will know that I do not chain three. When doing double crochets, I chain two. Uh, it is absolutely necessary to chain three. So now we're gonna skip this first stitch because that first stitch counts as a double crochet and make a double crochet. Now we're gonna have a total of six double crochets by the time we're done. So your first chain, that chain two counts as a double crochet. Then you're gonna make another five double crochets going across. Make sure that you count your double crochets as you go. This is my sixth double crochet and we will make our first uh, I'll make our first stitch here, I guess make our first point in this place here. So once you have six double crochets going across, you're going to chain three. Chain three. Pull out your loop, pull up a small loop here. You're going to not go into the stitch you just made, but the previous double crochet. Insert your hook right into that top stitch and grab that other loop from the next double crochet, the two chain that you made, and pull that right through and chain two. Okay, now we're going to yarn over and go right back into that same space. There's a hole right there and make three double crochets. 
So yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, and make another double crochet. So this is the second double crochet. This is the third double crochet. And if you're just starting, there is a tutorial that I have showing you how to make these basic stitches. So after you make those three double crochets, you're going to yarn over twice because we're going to do a triple crochet. Let's do another one. Yarn over twice. Go into that same space. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. That gives you those as your two triple crochets. Now we're going to do what's called a pico stitch. So you chain one, and right here, grab your hook and put your hook in that spaces in those two spaces right in front of that stitch and pull up a loop here and then make a slip stitch okay I'm gonna go over this again with the next petal I'm gonna call these petals um, do another triple crochet And now we're going to make three more double crochets. I know it seems like a lot, and it, it really is a lot. <laughs> but you'll get used to it as you're making the stitch, as you're going along. So I'm going to put two double crochets into that same space. You want to have three double crochets on one side when you first start. And then three triple crochets in the middle. And then three double crochets on the end. So once you've done your last double crochet, you want to, I did that wrong, you're, you're supposed to chain two. Oh no, I'm doing another double crochet, I'm so silly. <laughs> now chain, now chain two, once you've done your third double crochet, chain two. Now we're going to go right back into that stitch for the last time with a slip stitch. And if you need to flip your work around and maneuver it, do what you have to do to get it there. Um, it's, uh, it, it's a bit rough in the beginning when you do this first one, when you do this first petal. It's, it's pretty hard. Um, I shouldn't say the word hard, but it's pretty, it, it's, you'll get there. You'll get used to it once you begin making them more and more. But I think it's so pretty. So once I go ahead, once you make that slip stitch into there, just go right ahead in and make six more double crochets. So right into that next stitch, you'll make six double crochets. This is the second double crochet. And I'm going to keep making my double crochets until I get to my next section where we'll make our next petal. Okay, so I'm coming up on my last few stitches here, these last double crochets. And I want you to take a look at what that looks like once you get it started. As I said, they're very pretty. They come out really great. Just once you get into the rhythm of it, you'll be able to pick up on it. So we're going to continue on to the next one. You're going to now chain three. Do what we did before. Pull your hook out. Don't go into this double crochet. Go into the one before that, which is technically the fifth double crochet. And go ahead and grab that loop back on there and just pull everything through that stitch. Chain two. And then go right back into that loop that you just made with three double crochets. So right back into that loop where there's enough room. It looks small, but it's there. And go ahead and make three double crochets. There's one. There's two. 
And at any time, guys, if you need to stop and slow down or pause, do what you need to do to be able to catch on. And please let me know in the comments if I'm going too quickly or if I'm going too slow. Um, I do try to go uh, slow for our new uh, crocheters. So um, let's just all be patient with one another. So now what I'm doing is putting in a triple crochet here. And I'm going to add another one. And after this second triple crochet, I'm going to chain one and make the picot stitch again. I'm going to come closer to the camera, go right into that section where those two loops are immediately in the front, yarn over and pull through, and now just make a slip stitch. And then yarn over twice again, go back into the stitch with a triple crochet, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and that gives you your triple crochet. So now we're going to make our final three double crochets into this stitch here. So again, beginners, to make your double crochet. You're going to yarn over, go into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's your double crochet. So that's what that looks like so far. We have one more double crochet to add in there. Always make sure that you're counting your stitches. You should have three double crochets when you start, three treble crochets, and three double crochets to finish. So here is my last double crochet. I'm going to chain two. And go right back into the same stitch for the last time with a slip stitch. So go in pull up that loop and then immediately <laughs> I'm trying to fix it slip stitch into that stitch there I know it can be a lot you'll be fumbling around you might not be you might do it a lot smoother than I did but I'm, I'm hoping you get the concept of it all so now once you do that you're gonna go immediately go right in yarn over and go right in with a double crochet and just do another six double crochet you don't skip any stitches here you're going right immediately into that double crochet with six double crochets in the next six stitches i hope i didn't confuse you just then <laughs> i did want to thank you guys for being patient with me i'm um getting over the flu so I'm not quite a hundred percent, but I'm I'm almost there. So now I'm making my six double crochets. And I'm just gonna keep making my way across with my stitches and I'll be back when I get close to the end. So I'm gonna finish this off and your last double crochet will go into that chain two space from the beginning just put it right in that top chain and you're done when you count you should have five double crochets on one end and five double crochets in the beginning and then have your petals in the middle if you did the 30 chains and added two you should have four of these petals going across so of course you'll have more for your blanket but I just wanted to show you this really quickly. I want to thank you for watching and thank you for being such a loyal subscriber and staying with me on my channel. I will be back with some more of these stitches for blankets, this edging. This is number one of a series. So thanks for watching. Please follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Cam Tai Handmade Crochet. Have a great day.